From 1450 to 1750, Russia made many changes and grew on a large scale. Russia began this time period under the control of the Mongols. Mongol control prevented Russians from making advancements seen elsewhere in the West. After breaking free from Mongol control, Russia began a period of territorial expansion, westernization, and government reform. By the 1700s, Russia's territorial expansion had it spread all the way from its Eurasia origins to the eastern Pacific coast. The vast expansion of the Russians led to border conflicts with the Chinese and problems with the Mongols attacking. Peter the Great was a ruler during this time period that helped Russia make the most advancements towards becoming a dominant land empire. Despite conflict with the Chinese and Mongols, the Tsar of the time, Peter the Great, was focused on making advancements in the westernizing of Russia. He ruled from the late 17th century to the early 18th century. Peter the Great sought out help in Europe to strengthen the rapidly growing Russia. Prior to Peter the Great, Russia had almost no contact with Europe. Because Russia had little access to warm water ports, they were unable to participate in the Maritime Revolution. Peter hoped to strengthen his country by westernizing it. To change Russia, Peter attempted to revolutionize Russia based off of ideas he learned or saw in Europe. He wanted to reform the military, build up the infrastructure, expand Russia's territory, reorganize the bureaucracy, and relocate the capital of Russia. With regards to military reform, Peter the Great created ways to offer better pay and draft peasants to become soldiers. He was also able to create a navy by importing Westerners to build ships and shipyards and teach nautical tactics. Also, Russia was considered a gunpowder empire, therefore they were able to develop better weapons. Peter the Great realized his new reform military couldn't function without an improved infrastructure. Therefore, he organized a peasant workforce to work on roads and other services for the government to improve communication in the empire. Because Russia lacked warm water ports, its newly created navy was useless. Therefore, Peter the Great expanded Russia's territory along the Baltic Sea by defeating the military of Sweden. He later attempted to capture the Black Sea, but was defeated by the Ottomans. With all the improvements he was making, Peter the Great had to find a way to tax his people to pay for the improvements. At this time, the bureaucratic system was controlled by the boyars, so Peter did away with titles and nobility to be able to tax his people. One of the last important changes made by Peter the Great was the relocation of Russia's capital. He moved the capital from Moscow to St. Petersburg, where his city was built from scratch. Also, there was a harbor by the new city that would serve as a perfect home port for the newly established Russian navy. In the new city of St. Petersburg, Peter incorporated architecture styles he learned in Europe. Russia never really declined during this time period because after the death of Peter the Great, Catherine the Great came along and made even more advancements for Russia.